Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a bonus episode of Limbus Company, because it is currently the 24th of January. Tonight, I'm pretty sure it's tonight. Well, Burgers Snacks, at least, I don't know, the first part of it, I don't know how this shit works, but the point is, it will be over, and I won't be able to get Magic Bullet Otis. And, um, I really want Magic Bullet Otis. So... I have a plan, as it were. My plan is to do another mirror dungeon because, you know, they give you lunacy. Then to buy <laughs> the lunacy bouquet and have two final pulls. It occurs to me I could actually just do that right now without even doing any of this. But that's not very hype. <laughs> it's just not very hype, is it? No, we do the mirror dungeon first. If there are enemies or abnormality parts with rupture, apply one damage up or one haste to random ally next turn. Repeat number of enemies or of number of allies. Cool, yeah, I'll take it. Got it. Cool. Good. Let's go. It's worth pointing out that I'm not willing to spend a shit ton of money on, um, you know, getting magic bullet. Oh, hello. Tang, tang, tang. The ting tangs are here. The sound of plastic crashing is accompanied by the sloshing of a liquid. It looks like something that used to be an employee of a company. It's an identity ex evidenced by the now worn formal outfit and the employee card. The card is almost too battered and contaminated to recognize. Wearing a box filled with enkephalin on their head, the employee rams it into what looks like the door to a containment unit. A rubber O-ring is worn around their neck. Could it be there to prevent enkephalin from spilling? Cut the ring. Cut the ring. Who will cut the ring? Heathcliff. Good luck. Failed. Was the ring sturdier than it seemed, or was it the lack of skill? Heathcliff, you're failing me, buddy. The blade kept bouncing off the slippery O-ring. <laughs> and the submerged thing pushed you away and ran off. Did it prefer to stay like that? All it left was a small employee card. Ego gift employee card earned. <laughs> but my hunch... When activating Wrath Absolute Resonance or using a skill that gives or applies charge count, all allies gain three charge count. That's not very useful for us. Yeah, I'm not willing to spend a ton of money on um, trying to get Magic Bullet Otis. If we don't get it, we don't get it. I am going to accept it, but I did want to take just one more try. You know, it's hype. We'll build some hype for it. It really occurs to me I could do it right now, but I'm not going to. One last chance to see if we can get what we want, but I will be skipping through most of this because this is a bonus video. And the main event is, in fact, the fucking... Um, the extraction at the end, and let's be real, most of you are probably going to skip ahead to there anyway, so... <laughs> whatever. Obviously, just skipping our way right through these fights, because at the very start of the Mirror Dungeon, this is not going to be a challenge. We're going to absolutely dust them. And I'm not even strategizing like I was last time. I'm hitting win rate over and over again. See, the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't uh, do this video later when I had more lunacy or whatever, because, you know, Otis will be gone by tonight. And by the time you see this, she'll already be gone. Magic Bullet Otis will already be gone. And I couldn't add it to the last one because I've already done it and that's already edited and is set to go up, like, tomorrow, today, whatever. Point is, I had to do it this way. And I could have just done a fucking two-minute video being like, okay, we're gonna pull, but... I don't want that to be the daily upload. That's lame. And there's got to be some tension. I can't just do a video where I'm like, okay, we're going to do a pull and it was a fail. All right, see you next time. Like, we got to... There's got to be dramatic tension. We need to build up to it. Now, am I actually going to get it? Probably not. But we have to see. We have to try. We have to find out. Plus, we might get other IDs and that'd be pretty cool. Imagine if we do two 10 pulls and I get nothing new. That would hurt. That would hurt my soul. Oh, you're fucked. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oof. That was just mean. You can't counterattack someone who staggered and didn't attack you. That's not a counterattack, that's just an attack. You just attacked him. We're not getting nearly as good things as we got last time. It's very upsetting. Fuck it, Lithograph, I guess. It is useful, per se. Last time, we already had a bunch of uh, rupture gifts that were helping us out a whole bunch. But we're definitely going to want to go up. For sure. Extra gifts. We need all the gifts we can get.
If you're getting shit gifts, then you just get a fuck ton of shit gifts, and then eventually it kind of helps. Somehow. A little bit. After defeating one or more enemies using an attack skill, gain ego resource for that attack's affinity at the next turn start. If it's wrath, get more. Sure, why not? A lot of ego gift, I mean, ego resource stuff, but nothing really makes us stronger, per se. Hopefully this changes it. Could these five appendages protruding from the urn be a palm? Or is it a naked person who put their head into the golden urn? That does sound a lot funnier. What did this person see in the urn to cause them to shove their face into it? And if that wasn't enough, the whole body turned into a hand that tries to grasp everything it can. If it finally takes hold of everything in the world, will its group grip loosen at last? I'm gonna hug it. Give it a big hug. Go hug it. Who will hug it? What a question. Greg! Buddy! You seem like someone who needs a hug. Oh god. It seems the basic manners of clearing sweat from the hand before extending it for a handshake were neglected. Your hand slipped and the empty palm wriggles as if to seek another left hand to grasp. However, it no longer tries to rec recklessly grab things, so seemingly fulfilled by the attempt. The selected identity took 15 HP damage, cost 20 gained. Gregor, you failed at a handshake. Gotta hand it to you, that was not slick. I'm curious to see how well we'll do now that we aren't being absolutely drowned in game-breaking ego gifts. Like, it's a little bit more... Uh, it's a little bit more even now, we're not just being given everything we could possibly want. Oh my god. <laughs> I just I just watched their health bar goes down go down and it just shocks me every time. I love it. Grimy iron steak when hitting an enemy using a single coin skill inflicts one bleed potency. Inflict two defense level down until end of turn if target already has bleed and inflict three bleed potency instead. That's actually that helps. That's not bad. That's good. Okay, glad to have that. That's something. Event time. The room ceiling was too high, yet it was so narrow that it felt like a tight space. Roland? Something that looks like an old person sits on a chair, staring into a painting on the wall that didn't so much as flinch. A dark, thick, and sticky smoke crawls out from behind it. Roland. Perhaps that's what loneliness might look like if it's visualized. What's a young one like you doing in this room? It spoke to us, its eyes still glued to the painting. How long has it been aware? Are you interested in hearing my stories? I'm interested to hear the stories. My stories are so long, young ones like you might end up being as old as me while hearing one. These long, long stories, they only end in one way. I wanted to go home, but couldn't make it. It says with a long sigh, like it was wishing to let go of a longing. Get this painting off the wall and take it with you. It'll be better off that way. Okay, thanks. What will you do? Sure, I'll take the painting. When we removed the painting from the wall, a creeping feeling weighed on our backs. We turned around to find that much more of the sticky smoke was gushing out than before. It was my only home. The way it tried its utmost to hold its tongue, its murmur almost felt like a wail. When we tried to put the painting back... No, don't do that. Just take it. I've made up my mind. It shouted. Take it and leave before I take your home. Now. We followed its plea and left the place in a hurry. Oh, we got homeward. Nice. Cool. Same as last time. Okay, that's decent, I guess. Boss fight time! Will it be the apple? Because if so, then it is the same each time. Yes, it is. Okay, that's slightly annoying, but whatever. It's fine, it's fine. But I'm guessing from now on what I should do, maybe, I don't know, it depends how you guys feel about it. But considering that the um, the dungeon is very much the same each time you go in on, on a specific week, like this week being the Mirror of the Lake or whatever, Maybe each week do one, but that might be a bit too regularly, considering that, like, doing a, um, a mirror dungeon properly kind of takes, like, an entire episode, because they are long. Um, so it might be worth instead, I don't know, just every now and then doing one on camera. Once again, it really depends on how you guys feel. Guess I don't want to push mirror dungeons if you guys are like. We'd actually prefer if you just got on with the story. And incidentally, I do apologize for the fact... I'm burping like crazy. I, I do apologize for the fact that um, this has kind of delayed Kanto 3 a little bit more. I'm going to try and do the upload schedule so it doesn't. 
delay it, basically. But I know you guys are probably desperately waiting for that, and it just isn't happening yet, and I do apologize. It is coming. Obviously, it's coming. It's just a little bit of a delay. But I really wanted to see if I could get Magic Bullet Otis one last try to get that Ego, or ID, or both, whatever. Point is, I want it. Y'all know how much I love Magic Bullet. We all love Magic Bullet. Who the fuck doesn't love Magic Bullet? I mean, come on. Fantastic. Time to body this stupid thing. That one's struggling. I don't think so. I'm being real fucking lazy about this. You know why? Because I can be. Because I can be. Because it's fucking Ebony Queen's apple and it's garbage. Oh, this thing is done for. This thing is so done for. It can't stop us. A part just broke. It just took a bunch of damage. More rupture. More rupture. Which means we gain damage bonuses. Otis is currently gaining 30% extra damage. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Otis, how dare you? You have failed me. Get back in there and raise some lobs, girl. Why can't you be more like Ryoshu? Maybe I shouldn't shit talk Otis if I want to get her identity by the end of this, huh? Hmm. Hadn't thought of that. Too late now. These are all different. When hitting an enemy with a blunt skill or a pride affinity skill, inflict three fixed SP damage on target. Allies with less than zero SP deal 10% more damage. After defeating an enemy by using an envy affinity skill or slash damage skill, raise you in a slash skill power by two for the next two turns. That is pretty good. Enemies with rupture have their offense level reduced by three for the turn. That's pretty... Uh, we just we are just really wanting to lean into rupture, aren't we? Let's be real. Good stuff. No chance. God, I love this team. And I said it last time, but I'll say it again. But the most exciting thing is that this team can be better. I really want to look into, like I said, I want to look into Red Sheet Sinclair to see if that does anything, but I did have a look at his skills and it seems like you need a talisman based team. It's not enough to just be a rupture based team. You need everyone who works with talismans in order to make that work. Hitting and dealing HP damage to an enemy with a skill that inflicts sinking person, inflict three. I don't think we're going to get much from that, but whatever. Maybe I can sell it. To the shop. The eerily occupied empty space is occupied by a hum coming from the dispenser. The voice speaks, yield that crumb you have, and it'll be exchanged for something useful. You're drawn by the mysterious object. Yes, the dispenser. It knows what we want. We also know what it wants. That is handy. May as well buy all of them, really. Done. So what would this do? Oh. Oh, this is very good. Change well the identity skill. Skill one, I shall enable thee to a skill three. Well, oh yeah, go on then. Oh, yes. That is... Oh, that was... Oh, that was just amazing. Oh, I just loved every second of that. I'm gonna go with that purely because I want everyone to get sanity back because it's useful. Leave the shop. Good shit. Now for an event. Hello. The bell tolls. Church of the Gears. How's it going? It creaks a few times and tolls again. The, bowl, the bell tolls to tell the time. It swings all the way back as though it's about to tip over, then balances itself again. Every time it balances itself, the sound of a broken bell tolls. The bell precariously swings back once again. It's okay, Bard D will help you find balance. Yeah. Who will take the challenge? God, it's a it's a difficult one. It's kind of a difficult one. I'm gonna go Heathcliff. You have a chance to redeem yourself. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. You reach out with your hand and hold it in place before it swings back. The bell dings faintly, a dull and feeble noise. Though it no longer bounces back with the same amount of force, it continues to sway back and forth. Okay, all deployed identities gain two levels. Very helpful. Good job, Heathcliff. Happy with you. And then we go all the way down here to get that delicious, delicious gift. And then fight the neck. Oh, I'd love to get that event, but this guarantees a gift. That's the difference. They are so doomed. Oh my god. Oh, it's horrible. I love it. Oof. Oh.
These sinners are the best sinners ever. All the sinners are the best sinners ever, but these sinners are the best sinners ever. Pray tell, why has it done this so stupidly? I hate it when it does it stupidly, because it means I have to then take control to make it happen. I know why, because it's, it's emphasizing, like, perfect win rates over anything else, but it's still irritating. And I say perfect, they're not even perfect. Just because it says dominating doesn't mean you'll win. I've learned this the hard way. I suppose I should take recommendations, right? Because most of you guys are aware of the egos or ID, sorry, I have at this point. Or at least those of you on... Oh my god. Okay, yeah, mo those of you on the uh, Discord are probably aware. What do you reckon I should uptie next? Because I've uptied my two um, rupture inflictors, as it were, and the rest of the rupture inflictors are base IDs that I can't touch. I'd be interested to know what you guys think. Of course, take into consideration if we happen to get anything new in this episode, right? Any new uh, IDs, like, I don't know, maybe Magic Bullet Otis. Uh, if we do get that, that if, have that be part of the consideration for what I should uptie. Like, do consider that as well. Because I, I, will, I will take that into consideration too. But uh, I don't see anything wrong with maybe listening to the voices of experience. You know what I mean? Go for it. Oh, it's always so tense against that fucking wheel. The wheel! It's a shame I can't spin the wheel anymore. It's sad. But I guess that is just playing gotcha, isn't it, really? That's replaced it. I'm usually the type of guy who likes to pick uh, stuff in games like this, which is used less often and be like, I actually really like this because it's really cool. But I love Lantern Dawn and I know tons of people also love Lantern Dawn. And like, how can you not? She's great. She's so good. It's a combination of effectiveness and also a fun, cool character design, I guess. And you know, we all appreciate a nice Lobotomy Corporation reference. And that's a pretty blatant one as well. Plus, the lantern was kind of a... I don't know what the term would be. Not many people wanted to get the lantern in uh, in Lobotomy Corporation. Probably because it was fucking awful, and its ego also sucked and was hard to get if you got the lantern in the late game. There's something so intrinsically amusing to me about the fact that Heathcliff's entire fighting style as Seven Association involves him staring at a piece of fucking paper. And uh, presumably the idea is that he is consistently fighting and killing people whilst just staring at the piece of paper trying to figure it out. And like, oh, what's this case? And he stabs someone and like, oh, what does this lead mean? And he cuts someone's head off. And I just find that very fun. Something about that is very funny to me. I know I'm saying the obvious, and that is obviously the peak comedy. That is the peak of comedy. But I don't know, I find it very amusing and charming. Boss time. All right, we're not as strong as we were last time, but I'm confident. We've got it. We can do it. No problem. It, it's just too, it occurred to me just too late, but it might have actually been worth replacing Ryoshu with uh, Rogia for bleed, considering we are kind of leading into bleed a little bit. So this, yeah, it's going to be a little trickier, unless I abuse the fuck out of Ego. At which point it might actually be a lot easier than we think. If Cliff's got a neutral, I don't think so. That doesn't sound like what I want. That seems better. Ooh. Ooh, 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 yes! <laughs> that was a little scary, not gonna lie. <laughs> ooh. You can't beat Body Sack, it's just not possible. You just can't. It's not allowed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. You hate to see it. Wow, Don Quixote got ruptured like fuck. You hate to see it. Oh no, come on Heathcliff, you've got bonuses this turn. Don't fail me now, boy. There we go. The amount of rupture we're stacking is 
pitiful compared to last time. In fact, it's practically non-existent, which is the proof we need, of course, that this team is not yet at a point where it can really stack Rupture. Now, of course, if I was actually manually taking control of these moves, it might be a bit better, because I personally, especially in a boss fight, would focus a bit more on stacking Rupture than what the win, win rate uh, auto command is doing, but still. We're definitely not there in terms of a rupture team yet. It scares me because Otis only has one coin. <laughs> it's like success or failure, really. It's on a knife's edge. I'm gonna go with Otis, though. Yes, there it is. Otis gains haste. This seems fine. You got him. Ah. Oh. Ah. I never, I was, I was never worried even for a second, Sinclair. I knew you could do it. Get fucked. Oh no. That's uh, fine. Everything's fine. Okay, good. Yeah, great. Yeah, I knew it would be. I knew it would be. It was, it's Don's Kyoto. She could never fuck up. Never ever. Just like Heathcliff never fucks up. Never ever. Some big hits there. That's a neutral. I don't think so. I don't think that's a neutral at all. I think that's a dominating. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You you had the, you had the paper backwards. You were reading it properly. No, no, no. Definitely dominating. Of course, we always do. Neutral? I don't think so. I was say, like the hard part of this boss fight is near enough over. He's got nothing. He's fucked. Truly. Oh, he's got a little something though, done they actually? Just a little bit. Oh, I dare say. He managed to bring something back. It was a little spooky, but at the end of the day, what is he other than just a fucking box boy? Don't make me laugh. Sinclair, you want to perhaps not fuck up? Sounds good. Fucking bodied. <laughs> Absolutely. Cool. Good job, lads. Good job. Just a healthy dose of ego attacks and we get through. Yeah, nice and easy. Allies inflict times two bleed potency with skill effects. Enemies with bleed lose two speed. When an enemy with burn is defeated, uh, inflicts half of the burn potency on the defeated enemy to an enemy with the least burn. Okay. Enemies staggered by taking skill damage also receive fixed damage by 33% of their max HP. Oh. And are inflicted with two fragile. That's very good. But they would heal if they hit us. Fuck it. Big risks, big rewards. Let's go. I love taking risks. I love gambling. Plenty of... Oh, cool. Yeah, just gift, gift, nothing, gift, gift, shop, event, main event. Okay, cool. Yeah, we can do it that way. That's fine by me. Yeah, those are just blocks. Okay, and we're dominating across the board. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. Cool. Just got to, you know, when you start spamming win rate, you start getting lazy and you stop looking at things. And really, you need to look at things. Because like, you can just hit win rate and then make little adjustments here and there, even if you're just replacing uh, a neutral chance of uh, successfully clashing skill with like an ego attack or something and you're good to go. Just have a look at that. So that's a block, that's a block, that's a block. Okay, no attacks are actually getting through. And all of our clashes are dominating. So wonderful. Yeah, I got it. I got it. No big deal. No big deal. People say Kanto 3 is where it actually gets difficult. And that's interesting to me. I'm looking forward to seeing it. He's dead. <laughs> that time I knew for sure. Burning intellect. After defeating an enemy with a burn effect, two allies with skills that inflict burn potency gain damage. What? That's fucking useless to me, but okay. Fine. Whatever. We really did luck out last time, didn't we? Like, Jesus Christ, I couldn't have gone better. It's funny, because I guess on Stagger, they now heal and also take damage, which is a bit strange, but... At least it means Staggers are only benef... Like, if we get Staggered, it's purely beneficial, and if they get Staggered, there's actually a little bit of a downside to them. Not that Stagger is beneficial at all. We still don't want to be Staggered, but the effects, I mean to say. Non-Staggered enemy using a gluttony effect. <laughs> this thing sucks, God damn it. <laughs> Whatever, fine. Why? I don't even care. It doesn't even bother me. It bothers me immensely. We did so good last time. What happened? I mean, is anyone surprised? I didn't even show that one. Didn't even need to show it. 
But I'm confident that my win rate strategy, yeah, kind of, well, actually, oh, well, maybe Heathcliff, you should do something a little different. Yeah, maybe that'll do it. Yeah, that would help. You're attacking Don. Oh, God. Oh, great. Well, actually, I can just get rid of that, can't I? Win rate has failed me because it's allowing an attack to just go directly through. So I'm going to have to do this myself. What a fucking drag. Absolutely outrageous. Can't believe it. Zero out of ten. Who even plays this game anymore? It's not exactly the same as Ruiner. Who cares? Lame. Sorted. That's much better. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. It could also not be. It's better than what win rate gave me. Already staggered. Okay, cool. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, 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 yes. I got a little spooky there. Fuck him up. Yes. So much tremor, and we have literally no way to pay it off. Unless one of these ego attacks does, but I don't think it does. It's possible that the shock centipede is the only one we'll actually have to concentrate on because we need to focus on damaging its head to prevent its shield from being as high as it could be. But the rest of these fights, we can kind of be pretty hands-off about. I probably didn't even need to be as hands-on as I was last time, but I was... I wanted to take it seriously. It was my first time doing a mirror dungeon and my first time doing a mirror dungeon on camera, and I wanted to make sure we did a good job. Whereas now I'm a little more laissez-faire about it. As long as we win overall, I don't mind looking kind of stupid every now and then. It's always going to happen. You know, it's me. Turn start. Deal three fixed NV affinity damage to all enemies. Inflict one power down to enemies with 33% or less HP. That's actually pretty good. Happy with that. Yeah, why not? I like it. When hitting an enemy with a pierce skill or a gluttony affinity skill, inflict two defense level down. That's actually pretty good. Okay, all right. There's some decent stuff. Happy with this. Shop. The dispenser again. Well, that's not so bad because we actually get, yeah, more stuff. That's all right. That ain't too bad. What's stone tomb? Allies gain 1.5 times poise. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we should buy that. Yeah, we should buy that. Yeah, yeah, we should get that. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for my, my Sinclair boy. When using a skill with 2 plus attack weight, increase its damage by 20%. When hitting an enemy with a skill with plus 2 attack weight or a gloom affinity skill, heal by 20%. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll take that. I have no idea what the attack weight of any of our skills are, but I should find out. Maybe I'll have a look in the next battle. It's not something I've ever looked at. Inflict two sinking potency on all enemies with less than zero SP. For abnormalities, one random part. Sure, why not? We'll heal everyone just in case. Wonderful, wonderful. And we're good to go. Time to leave. One more event, one more chance for a gift. It's the tree! I know what to do about this. And this gives a really good thing, I remember now, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thunder branch. When inflicting rupture potency, inflict extra rupture potency and extra rupture potency count. And everyone heals. Lovely jubbly. Everyone's in high spirits. We got a very good gift. We're ready to go do this. I actually have to fight it properly. Otherwise, I imagine the auto battle will do it wrong. That's not what I thought it'd be. Okay, that's different. All right, uh, it's Goblin Boy. I didn't think we'd be having a rematch today, sir, but what do I know? Very long legs. What a motherfucker. He inflicts bleed, binds, and paralysis for the most part, and we don't know what his passive is. Okay. All right, Mr. Long-Legged Wing Boy. Let's see what you got. Engagement's usually a pretty good start. Having said that, it's only favored, which is a little spooky. We'll give it a go. Whirlwind? Oh, that's only neutral. Okay, well, you know what? I'll quickly go through everything and figure out just what we're dealing with, but... It's looking pretty neutral across the board. 
All right, fine. Not like we don't have resources to spend. I'm only going to use uh, ego attacks if it's neutral. If the only other option is a neutral clash, because I don't want to waste them. At the same time, I don't want to eat hits. This guy seems like one who will do a lot of... He basically hits you with a lot of stuff that makes you fight even worse as time goes on. So it's like a momentum-based thing. A lot of this game is momentum-based, I've noticed. In the meantime, go for the head. I don't know if that's a good idea, but we'll try. Oh yeah, engagement's got him. Oh yeah. And then we'll bleed him and, you know, we'll give him some problems. Oh, right in his knee. Fuck your stupid knee. Whatever, fool. More. Then we set you on fire. That's some good damage. And then I don't even know what Greg's gonna do to you. Greg doesn't even know what he's gonna do to you. We're about to find out. I think it applies. I don't actually know. I couldn't see. It did something. I know that much. And he's sinking. He's got 1,909 HP. Goddamn. And he has a counter attack, which he will heal from. And he would heal if he hit us anyway, so that's kind of spooky. You've only got Remise, which is neutral, okay. And you've got Nibble, which is hopeless and neutral, okay. And you've got Pain, which is neutral, okay. you got Backslash, which is neutral. And Poor Blade, which is hopeless and neutral, okay. And you've got Intuition, which is neutral. You got Swipe, which is hopeless and unopposed. And Jag, which is neutral. Okay, right, well. Gonna have to spread it out a little bit, aren't we, I suppose? I don't want to get hit by that counter-attack, but it will happen if... Well, it just probably will happen. So maybe we should just focus on hitting him twice as hard. Apply more Rupture, perhaps? Work the head. Gain Poise. Apply Rupture Count so it doesn't run out. It's something. We'll see what happens. And he takes a little bit of extra bleed damage with every clash because of our gifts, which is nice. As every hit leads to a bleed. That was a lot of damage. You're hanging it's not going to get to nearly as much as it did last time, but we might be able to stack some rupture here, and that could help. I'm just taking this guy quite seriously, because I don't know if he has some kind of fucking gimmick. They always fucking do. Good, good, good. Doing fine, doing fine. He's still got a lot of rupture, and we've done some damage. Need to be careful though, I can't be spamming, uh, I can't be spamming ego attacks the whole fucking time. But our odds are not great on a lot of these clashes. We're not even getting favored anymore, which is a little concerning. Okay, we got some favored. Alright, that's a start. Struggling. 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 We might have to take some neutrals and like it. That's favored. All right, that's something. And I... Yeah, you two are too slow. Sorry, Heathcliff, but you're going to have to do it again. The good news is you're going to gain a lot of haste and attack power. I'm going to get Greg to do it because Don Quixote can inf uh, inflict rupture count, which is important. So you hit that, good, and then you gain poise, because, I don't know, crits, crits are helpful. Plus you haven't taken damage, so Splatter doesn't gain an additional bonus, so fuck it. 
He's a scary boy. Uh, he's kind of scary. He's a little bit scary. If we got here and our SP was suffering a bit, like if we had taken a few hits or whatever, this could be genuinely problematic. Decent. Oh! Scary. Scary. That was a little scary. Didn't appreciate that. No. Did not. Didn't like it. That was a good hit, though. Nice. Love to see it. Big hit. Lots of defense down. And we broke his head. Take that with your stupid head. It's still not looking good, though. It's getting to the point where I think we're going to have to try and kill him quickly enough before we run out of SP, which we're actually doing all right on. I'm not too concerned, but it's spooky. Neutral, neutral, hopeless. Neutral, neutral, hopeless. Neutral, neutral, hopeless. Neutral, neutral. Even the whirlwind om nom nom ain't doing it. Neutral, neutral, hopeless. <gasps> neutral, neutral, hopeless. Okay, all right. Well, it's fine. We're going to be doing a lot of Odysseys, as it turns out, because it inflicts rupture. Wow, it's neutral on casting shade. We're going to need to look into that because we need to find a way to beat it. Does this clash well? It's neutral. Give it a try. Okay, well, this is going to be an interesting round. He's about to spawn a giant clover, but if we win, then it will spawn with less health. Some big hits. This went fine. Good stuff. This is a little bit closer than that fucking uh, centipede fight. Yep, that went fine. It's the Ryoshu clash I'm worried about. Good hit. Big good hit. More sinking. That was a lot of stuff. Nope. Youch. And now there's a giant leaf. What does it do? Who the fuck knows? Passives at the start of the turn. Give one HP healing boost and one attack power up to fairy long legs. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, we need to focus on killing that then, don't we? Yes, we do. Neutral, neutral. But we also need to contest his attacks, don't we? It's all neutral, isn't it? It's all fucking neutral or struggling. Neutral, 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 neutral. Yeah, wrap up. Favored. Wow. And Ryoshu staggered. Because that tree hurt, as it turns out. It does it a turn start, doesn't it? Can we have a look at that again? Start of the turn, attack power up. Yeah. Just scary, which means Heathcliff might actually fail that, but... If he does, then he does. Sorry, we need to keep doing the Odyssey. And then everyone else will want to attack that. Okay, well, we're going to have to try. We need to kill the tree. But we also need to kill Fairy Longlegs because he's a problem. I know you can skip ego animations. I just don't want to. <laughs> I'm sure I will eventually, but I don't at the moment. I like him too much at the moment. Very nice. Damage is being done. Not seeing an event happen. Smeared flesh, entangled injury. Maybe engagement? Yeah, engagement's actually dominating. Let's go. Favored? I'll take it. And rest of you lean in on that tree. Except for you. Hit him with a little bit of that. And you go after that. 
good. I can always count on you, Sinclair. What a guy. Nice. Not nice. Nice. Okay, it worked out. That's something. <laughs> the tree is dying. If I, he's dying faster than the tree, actually, it's almost unnecessary. But I guess I'm gonna. I've started doing this, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Skin wounds. Neutral. Favored. Neutral. I just want to have a quick look through to make sure. Dominating. Yeah, go for that then. Fuck it. Backslash that. Nibble that. Swipe at that. Brush stroke that. And we'll kill the tree. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, it's fine. I. It always concerns me. Especially when some like counter attack gets beaten in any clash. Because I'm like, hang on, that's like the best I've got. <laughs> it really kind of is. Big hits. <laughs> the tree is almost dead. Go for that. Can you... You can favor that. That's good enough. Swipe. Neutral. Neutral roll. Dominating. There we go. Swipe at that. We can kill the tree this turn. We can kill it. We can kill it. Come on. I don't really think we needed to at all, but fuck it, I committed to it now. He might even die before the tree does. We are hitting the fuck out of him. Jesus Christ. Destroy the tree! Just to make a statement. Oh my god. Oh. There we go. Your stupid tree is worthless. I hope he doesn't just spawn another one. <laughs> Because the attack that he did to summon the tree was actually worse than the tree itself. We don't need to set shit up anymore. We just need to kill him. And we can. He is not doing so great. Just kill him. It's over. Engage and smash his fucking head off. There we go. Good shit. Oh, that was interesting. I actually thought, I genuinely thought it was going to be the shock centipede, so I wasn't particularly worried going into the final fight. Huzzah. Oh, we got less pass XP reward, I see. No, we didn't. Okay, cool. I thought we got less. We didn't. Lovely. I will claim all of these things. Yes. Delightful. Fantastic. Cool. All right. Well, that went well. The time has come, ladies and gentlemen, to do the thing. To do the thing. Huzzah. Mailbox. Claim. Cool. I have enough for two temples. And this is it. This is truly it. If I don't get um, magic bullet from this. I'm not putting any more into it. I'm only doing this much because it's magic bullet. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother. But it's one of my favorite sinners with one of my favorite ego. I have to try at least a little bit. Wrong thing. <sighs> Come on. Attempt one. Let's give it a try. Okay. All right. I'm actually quite nervous. I didn't even get a green. Oh my god, that's a horrible start. Alright, well, fine. I guess we build hype like we normally do with this and like, oh look, it's Sinclair and what the fuck? I didn't even get a green. This is outrageous. How could it do this to me? That's so mean. <laughs> I finally did what the game wanted me to do and spent some money and it has absolutely shafted me. Right from the get-go, this better be something good. Okay. You know what? 
that's pretty fucking good, actually. That's kind of exactly what I wanted. Well, not really, but that's one of the things I very much wanted. Seven Association, you sang. My boy drinks mint coffee. <laughs> All right, that's cheered me up immensely. Before we do the second pull, I want to go have a look. I bet he's like the worst seven association one, and I don't even care. I'm just happy to have him. Inflict rupture, inflict paralysis. Oh, nice. What would skill three do? Plus one to the value of effects applied by the last coin. Plus one to the value of the effects applied by the last coin. Inflict one pierce for agility next turn. I don't think this does much in the way of... Uh, this seems pretty good, though. Like, his support passive. One ally with the highest max HP gains plus one clash power in a clash. That's really good. Right? I think? I don't know. I'm happy because I've got more seven association. So, I guess it's fine. All right, cool. That's a, a decent start if an unexpected one. Okay. This is the last try, I suppose. Come on, be nice to me. Really? Am I missing something or have we already exceeded the time limit and there's no more magic bullet? Because I'm not getting green anymore. Or is this what happens when you pay for lunacy? I don't, I'm very upset. I don't understand. This was the whole thing that we were supposed to be doing, and like, I was hoping for at least a chance. In this case, there's not even a chance. There's just nothing. It's just nothing. That's extremely upsetting. That is overwhelmingly upsetting. Please be signed good. Okay. <sighs> That's pretty fucking cool. Actually, we only had one W Corp, so it's nice to get more W Corp, and more Hong Lu is always good. All right. Honestly, these IDs are pretty good, and, you know, they make me feel less bad, but why did it not let me even have a chance of pulling the thing I wanted? Hello, friend. My Hong Lu friend. Gain charge, gain charge, gain charge. Gain charge. Clash power plus one when shielded. At plus 10 charge count, gain two charge barrier next turn. At plus 10 charge count, consume all charge count to apply consume charge count to charge barrier to the allies. So that gives a bunch of people defense. Oh, what about your passives? If at plus five charge count at the start of the combat phase, gain haste. An ally with the lowest speed gains two haste next turn. If at plus five charge count, that seems all right, I guess. Not the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Do I have those tickets? Look, I know this isn't efficient. I know this isn't efficient, but I don't care because it's the, if we don't do this, then we're just not going to get it. So fuck it. Let's do it. I'm just going to go all in. Nope, nothing. Okay, fine. Daily quota exhausted. Yeah, I figure. Uh, ex all right, we're using the tickets then. Fuck it. Still nothing. Extract again. Yep. Keep doing it. Come on. <gasps> God damn it. Oh, I was so excited for a moment there. Fuck. God. Oh. Oh. It hurts. Damn it. <laughs> My soul can't take it. <laughs> Just give me the bullet. Just give me the fucking bullet. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's less cool, because I've already got it. Come on, please, please, fuck. I can extract one with my lunacy and I can do that twice. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Nope. Yes, what the fuck is this? What? What are you even showing me? Is that an ego? 
Is that ego attack? Red eyes open, Ryoshu. What the fuck? Is that an ego attack? What did you just give me? <laughs> Hold up a minute. I need to go have a look real quick. Hey, Ryoshu, how's it going, ego? How the fuck do I even check that? Where the fuck do I even check that? Uh... No, not that. It'd be edit team, wouldn't it? Ego. Yeah, red eyes open. If main target speed is low and uses by three or more, coin power plus four on hit. If target has plus, three plus binds, deal 20% extra damage. I don't give a fuck, really, if it's good or not. That's just fucking sick. And if they corrode, they just fucking attack anyone. If this unit is healed more than 10% of its max HP this turn, gain one attack power next turn. And it can be thread spun to be even better. Dope. Okay, right, I've gotten some cool stuff. Okay, I can't even be sad, really. But I'm still gonna- I said I would try for this, so I'm going to try one last time. Let's go. This is just gonna be a normal one, I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. What? God! <laughs> <laughs> <Malkith> baby. <laughs> At least it's not Pierre and Jack. Or whatever their fucking names are, I don't remember. <laughs> What if I just say confirm? What are you gonna do about it? Okay. No, no, it's over. We failed. We failed, but it's okay. <laughs> that can yeah, I couldn't have ended any better, honestly. No, I'm happy with that. Yeah, no, that's fine. We tried. We honestly tried to make it happen, and it did not happen, and that's okay. That is okay. That is fine. We got some cool stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing Yishang, um, fucking Seven Association in combat. I bet he looks fucking cool. Unfortunately, given the rupture team, that probably means needing to get rid of... Well, it'll either be, um, Sinclair or Ryoshu. Considering during story mode, typically you only use five sinners, it probably means get getting rid of Sinclair, which would be a huge downer. I don't get the impression that... Yasang really adds much to the whole rupture application situation. Like, yeah, inflicts one rupture, not even counts, just rupture. Inflict three paralysis. This doesn't even apply rupture. Obviously, ego doesn't because it's just his normal ego. And his passives. I mean, sorry, that's the wrong bit. Yeah, his passives as a seven association doesn't actually do anything along those lines. His passives do seem very good, though, in general. Ac acute studies is great. And, you know, observational eye is also great. Hong Lu, similarly, this seems a little underwhelming. So this would be very useful for an actual um, charge party. More useful than Faust, anyway. Maybe we should look into Faust a little bit, just quickly. Uh... Gain one charge count, yeah. Now I'd spend it to inflict bind. And now I'd spend it to inflict something. Okay, so up tearing her to get that would be helpful. And I guess that's useful if you are running an entire dub corp uh, crew. There's some cool stuff here. And getting Malchus at the end was incredibly fucking funny. So I can't actually be that upset. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry that this isn't, once again, isn't Kanto 3. We are doing that, and we're doing that very soon. There'll be very few delays, but I wanted to take one last chance to try and get Magic Bullet Otis. I failed. I'm not particularly upset. I hope you've had a good time. Thank you so much for watching. I guess we'll be doing target extraction for fucking uh, warp uh, Ysang.
That'll be pretty cool. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Dresso, Aiden Kelly, Sion Distance, Lol, Final Legend, Etherbin, Linky, Zeon Cedar, Bimblewort, Mashoko, Myman, Alkir, Honeydew Corporation, Sweet Baby Red, Lord Skullington, Jessica T. Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Lepa Lullaby, K Bub, Magical, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Warmaster OQ, SCP 106A, Namad, and Kenny T800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. This was fun. This was fun. You know, fighting fairy long legs was interesting, and, you know, mirror dungeons are always fun. And we got some cool stuff. We did get some cool stuff. I'm relatively pleased. It's a shame we didn't get Magic Bullet, but there will be more opportunities, I'm sure. Everyone has said that uh, IDs and stuff don't just disappear. They, they are attainable in some form at some point. So I'll be able to get it someday, and that'll be fine. That'll be cool. I ain't particularly bought. A little disappointed, but it's been too fun for me to actually be genuinely upset or disappointed about it. I'm alright. I consider the money I spent there to be money well spent. That was fun. Thank you so much for watching. We're we'll back next time, and it's Canto 3. It's Canto 3. I promise you, Canto 3. There will be no Limbus but Canto 3 next time. I promise you. And when it does happen, I will see you there. No doubts. No confusion. Doodles. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>